Hi, Adriano here. I'm here to show you through the five easy steps to mastering my delicious macarons. You'll need about 50 minutes. That includes the prepping time. So let's get started. Okay, so we need two baking trays, some baking paper, a dark marker pen, and the tracing ring that came in the box. The prep will take about 10 minutes. First thing we're going to do is make a piping guide. Cut the baking paper the same size as the trays and then lay it down flat with the curly side up. Using the tracing ring, trace out the inner circles. This helps you make the right size macaron shells every time and avoids them sticking together if they're too close to each other. Remember the spacing is really important. Flip it over and place it in the tray. Curly side down and the paper will sit flat, ready for piping. An easier option is to print off the pre-drawn piping guide from my Zumbo Baking website and just pipe straight over the top. Getting the exact measurements is the first pressure point in creating your macarons. The meringue mix is super sensitive, so make sure you use clean metal or glass bowls and not plastic. Plastic bowls can trap in oils and affect the mix. Starting slowly to avoid splashing, whip the meringue mix and water with an electric mixer until it starts to thicken. Then turn it up to maximum speed for four minutes. You want the mix to be really stiff, like this. Then add the almond base. Mix with a spatula until the batter is even, using short pulses to get the final consistency. The batter must flow off your beaters like lava. This batter isn't ready, it's still sticking to the beaters. One more pulse, and here we go. Mmm, lava. Whatever you do, don't over pulse, because at this point, over beating will thin out the mix. You're almost there. Now grab your piping bag and let's start piping. A trick I use to transfer the mix is by putting the piping bag into a big glass or mug while you scoop in the mix. Carefully cut the tip along the dotted line. Hold the piping bag with two hands and place the tip about one centimetre above the centre of each circle. Squeeze with the top hand till the batter fills the circle. Pull the tip away from the centre, leaving the short tail pointing straight up. If you get any odd shaped ones, then use a spoon to fix it. Tap the trays to burst any bubbles and voila! Now let's start baking these awesome treats. With your oven preheated and your mix rested, you're ready to bake. We recommend baking one tray at a time. At 14 minutes, open the oven and check if the shells are done. You'll know this because the feet don't compress when you press lightly. And I mean ever so lightly. You don't want to bust them. Over baking them can make them hard and crumbly and you want to avoid this. Take them out of the oven and leave them on the tray for two minutes and then slide the paper with the shells onto the bench. Once the shells are cool, carefully peel them off and arrange the best 30 into 15 matching pairs. We're down to the last step, we can almost taste them. When making the filling, add the cream and chocolate to a microwave safe bowl and then pop it in the microwave for 25 seconds on high. Stir until the mixture is nice and smooth and then set it aside to cool. Put the mix in a piping bag, pipe onto one shell, sandwich together and voila! The mighty macaron, the instant friend magnet.